Today we're going to talk about saturated and unsaturated fats and their properties in the soap making process. The eight fatty acids that make up our soap molecules include four saturated fatty acids, the mystric, lauric, palmitic, and stearic, and four unsaturated fatty acids, the resinoleic, oleic, linoleic, and linolenic. We're going to talk about saturated fatty acids. They will accelerate the trace and will saponify more readily than unsaturated fats. Myristic and lauric fatty acids both have shorter carbon chains which make them more soluble in water and excellent cleansers. These two fatty acids create soaps that produce a fast forming, full and bubbly lather. Meanwhile, palmitic and stearic have longer saturated carbon chains and will create a hard stable soap with a creamy lather and increased lifespan. So they all have a hardness property. And with the myristic and lauric, we get the cleaning property. Meanwhile, with the palmitic and stearic, we get the longevity property. Next, we have unsaturated fatty acid. Because they have at least one double carbon bond, unsaturated fatty acids will be slower to trace and slower to saponify. Oleic, linoleic, and linolenic are unsaturated fatty acids which have hydrophobic taste and are less soluble and produce a milder and more creamy lather. They are also softer in nature, decrease the hardness of the bar and have a more difficult time solidifying into solid crystals due to their shape. However, resinoleic is different from the other three unsaturated fatty acids because it has an OH hydroxyl group which increases the solubility of the soap. It also is only found in castor oil and increases the rate of trace, the rate of lava formation and increases also the total reaction rate. Lastly, we're gonna see some extra properties. First, we have bubbly lather property which is made with resinoleic, myristic and laric. Then conditioning property, which is made with also resinoleic, oleic, linoleic and linolenic. And lastly, we have creamy lather property, made from palmitic, stearic and resinoleic. Throughout my experience of soap making, I have created a rule of thumb. For excellent quality soap, which is hard, long-lasting and conditioning, we must follow the following steps. The longevity property needs to be between 30 and 35. The oleic needs to be somewhat 40. The saturated and unsaturated fatty acids need to have somewhere the similar numbers. And lastly, bubbly ladder or creamy ladder property needs to be more than 30. All these numbers, which I said, are shown when you do your soap recipes in soap calculators, which you can find in the web. The one I use is called Soap Making Friends. Here is the link for it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, see you in the next video.